August 31st, 2019. This video is called Mutant Conjoined Leaf Apple. Now, this is kind of like where I find my mutants, and it's a lot of patience and a very good eye. Now, this is an area that needs to be weeded, and actually, this is what I do is I go in here and pull these by hand. I don't use the chemicals, preen, weed and feed, roundup. So as I'm doing this, I'm constantly looking for mutations, abnormalities, anything that could go into the mutant garden. So I was doing some weeding and I did find another mutant. I'm calling this an apple, but actually it's a, probably a crab apple. But the thing is, is they're both of the genus Malus. And there it is. Look how tiny it is. Now, it looks like it was the second leaf coming up. See it? Now, I know this is conjoined because if you look... A normal leaf has a midrib. That's the one that's going right down the middle. But if you look at this one, look at how the midrib actually got split. At first I was wondering if there was a plant here that was growing and it split. But I don't think that that would cause the midrib to split. Usually what happens is the leaf will just then get curled. So this is my little find. And see that midrib right there? Let's get a closer look at that. Now there's a pretty good look to it. Now look at that, it's about the size of my th thumb. I was actually amazed that I found this myself. But like I said, I'm always on the lookout for them. Now let's take a look at this. Now this is going to fall off next year because it's deciduous. But I'm going to dig this up, put it in the mutant garden, and see if maybe next year it'll come back. The chances of this coming back is very slim. But I want to... But I want to document our crashing chromosomes. This is what you call genetic blasphemy. Now, in a perfect environment, I truly don't believe that you would get a mutation. Like, way, way back in the day, when every, when, before we had all this pollution, I don't think we had mutations. Maybe some that were coming from the sun, but most of these mutations in cancers that are similar to human disease, plant disease, animal disease... It's all run on the basic premise that we are made of kind of like a computer language. The DNA has a code, and that's why it will always look the same because the, it's almost like a, the code is cloned. It will always follow those instructions, but when you get corruption in the code, no matter where it's coming from, just think of a computer virus, how it screws up that computer. The language becomes corrupt. And the DNA is our language. And that's what's happening here. Alright, one closer look. This is normal. Now look at that stem. I think actually it might be conjoined right there. 
See how it breaks apart? And forms two separate leaves, but as one. Now this is cray cray. Look at that. Crashing chromosomes, misguided mitosis. Crashing creation is what it is. So if this is happening to plants, what the hell is happening to humans? All right, I decided that this is a conjoined stem. About as close as I can get. See that? Compared to that one. All right, keep your eyes open.